In the state of education, the controversial universal empowerment scholarship accounts, or what some call school vouchers, continue to impact districts, according to officials. In some cases, districts say they're spending thousands of dollars on students who don't even go to their schools. ABC 15 education reporter Eleni Dow is listening to education leaders and organizations and hearing from both sides about what's going on here. Spending money on students who don't actually attend their schools. That's what districts are saying is happening in evaluating students for disabilities, which is required by federal law. When the kids aren't enrolled and never enroll after an assessment, there's no funding that the, the district is able to recoup the expenses incurred. The Deer Valley Unified School District saying they've spent about half a million dollars. Other districts tell me they're seeing an increase in evaluations on ESA students as well. When we look at the obligation of the school district, we absolutely adhere to that. What we're struggling with is utilizing district resources, district expertise for families that will not enroll or have no intent to enroll. Jenny Clark, who has several ESA students and is a CEO of Love Your Schools, drives home that this is required by federal law. I think it's really unfortunate that now we're trying to create a narrative that discriminates against ESA students when they are legally allowed to get their children children evaluated in the public school system. Some of the money for evaluations come from the federal government, but the Arizona School Administrators Association says it doesn't cover it all. What solutions do you want to see for this? Well, I think one idea to try to address this is to have ESA vouchers pay for the assessments. And it doesn't have to be the district. Perhaps an assessment is done by, you know, external providers. The Arizona Department of Education tells me changes would have to be considered by Congress. Another dilemma schools are facing, sports. Now, public schools aren't required to allow ESA students to play in their extracurricular sports. However, some districts are weighing that option. The Fountain Hills Unified School District is one looking at that. My thought would be that the cost would have to be much higher than what we have our students that are here pay. Mesa Public Schools also allows it, charging ESA families about $2,000 to offset costs. I don't know why a district wouldn't want a student who might be amazing in their particular sporting area to not participate, um, but it is the district's right to decline those students, but I think it's unfortunate. I'm Melanie Dow, ABC 15, Arizona.